Hey chemistry people, it's Mr. Boylan, and today we are going to describe and calculate the relationship between volume and number of moles for an ideal gas. As always, breaking it down a little bit, the first thing we're going to do is one, define the standard molar volume of a gas. What is it? Two, we are then going to use the standard molar volume of a gas to calculate gas masses and volumes. So just some quick notes to start us off. Uh, the volume occupied by one mole of a gas at STP is known as the standard molar volume of that gas. One mole, just one. Solving the ideal gas equation for the volume of one mole of gas at STP gives us 22.4 liters. So if you take a quick look at your notes, notice that we've just rearranged the ideal gas law equation to solve for volume. When you plug in one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure, we end up with 22.4 liters, which is where that number comes from. Now, I'm sure you can imagine we're gonna find these to be very useful when it comes to doing conversions. And you can write the following two conversion factors when it comes to standard molar volume of a gas at STP. This is a really important relationship between moles of a gas and volume of a gas at STP. Remember, at STP, only when we're talking at STP. Of course, keep in mind that even though the number of molecules and therefore number of moles will be the same for a mole of any gas at STP, the mass of that volume is gonna be different for the different gases. You've got a really great image on your notes that sort of give you that relationship between volume and number of moles. But again, just keep in mind that one mole of helium gas, although it has the same number of particles of one mole of xenon gas and one mole of methane gas, the masses of those gases will differ. Even though they have the same number of molecules, each of those molecules is made up of different things. All right, so let's take a quick look at problem number one. It says a chemical reaction produces 0 0.0680 moles of oxygen gas. What volume in liters is occupied by this gas sample at STP? Okay, so before we begin, I sort of have this box over here to represent 22.4 liters. And you've got to keep in mind that 22.4 liters is the same as one mole of gas at STP. When you're at STP, only at STP, but sort of use this as a visual to help you understand whether or not we have 22.4 liters of this gas, if we have more than 22.4 liters, or if we have less than 22.4 liters. If I thought about cutting this diagram in half, I would have 11.2 liters over here and 11.2 liters over here. Or it would have half a mole and half a mole. And as you think about what we're provided with in the equation, 0 0.0680 moles, I know that I'm gonna have a lot less than 22.4 liters because I have a lot less than one mole. In fact, I'm gonna have a lot less than 11.2 liters because I have less than half a mole. But just like everything we've been doing this whole year, you can solve this with a quick conversion factor. You're always gonna start with the amount that you're given. In this case, 0 0.0680 moles of oxygen gas. We want to convert that to liters because we are at STP, we can use the relationship that 22.4 liters is the same as one mole. Notice that our units of moles will cancel out and we'll be left with liters of O2. Now it's just a quick jump over to our calculator. 0 0.0680 times 22.4. So Using the correct number of sediment figures, I end up with 1.52 liters of oxygen gas. Again, ask yourself if this makes sense. If I know that 22.4 liters is one mole, and I only have 0 0.0680 moles, I must have less than 22.4 liters. So this makes sense, and we're done. 